Hi, Lane Chrisman here. I'm the Conservation Supervisor for Truckee Meadows Water Authority and I'm here at the beautiful Oxbow Park speaking with Jenny and Marie from Keep Truckee Meadows Beautiful. Now, KTMB is dedicated to the beautification of the Truckee Meadows area through very various volunteer projects as well as educational initiatives. Um, and as a good steward of the Truckee River, uh, Tumwa really supports what you guys do and we want the community to support you as well. But before we talk about the different programs that you guys offer, I want to ask you guys how and why you got involved with KTMB in, in the first place. Yeah, well, Reno is a really special place. It's basically an outdoor playground, and um, the Truckee River is at the heart of that. And so I wanted to be a part of something that would preserve the Truckee River and our in incredible um, opportunities to be outside. Cool. What about you, Jenny? Well, one of the initiatives that KTV has is the Watershed Warrior Program, where we go into classrooms and we teach students about um, water conservation issues and non-point source pollution and the watershed and how unique and special we have here in Reno. Okay, very cool. So, um, tell us a little bit more about exactly what this Watershed Warrior Program is all about. Our Watershed Warrior Program focuses on teaching students uh, about our Truckee River watershed and how unique and special it is, and then also the many uh, challenges it faces, so non-point source pollution, water quality and conservation, and we really want our students to be watershed warriors where they can go out into the river and clean up and be stewards of the environment. Very cool. What grades do you guys focus on? We focus on fourth through sixth, but we have adapted our curriculum to most of our age groups. Okay, okay. Now, water conservation means using water efficiently. And one of the prime targets for water waste is outdoor irrigation. Things like uh, sprinklers running too long. So while overwatering your grass is a very common and very preventable uh, wa waste of water, can you guys talk a little bit about why it's bad from a watershed perspective? Absolutely. Um, one of the main things we focus on is that a lot of students are not in, in and adults too are not educated that um, the storm, the water runoff on your street goes directly into the storm drain and then directly into the Truckee River. And so that is one of our main focuses is letting people know there should only be rain in the storm drain. Gotcha. So people, they're they're watering too much. They're getting a bunch of water on their their grass that's going to run off into the road, mm -hmm. and it's going to pick up stuff like oil, things like nitrates from fertilizers, cigarette butts, cigarette butts, and that goes directly into the storm drain, mm -hmm. which actually doesn't get cleaned. It goes straight into the river. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. What are some of the other ways that people can keep the river clean? Well, it is very windy here in Reno, so we need to keep a lid on our trash cans and just make sure that we pick up litter wherever we see it. We don't want it getting into our waterways. Uh, we should also really be water conscious and um, conserve our water here. You should definitely pick up your pet waste. Mm -hmm. That is a huge issue. And learn how to fertilize your lawns correctly. Yeah, because I mean, anything we leave on the ground has the potential to end up in the Truckee River. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so I noticed that you guys have a volunteer event coming up. Can you speak a little bit more about what that is and how people can participate? Yeah, we are really excited. Um, our Truckee River cleanup is coming up on Saturday, October 13th. It is our largest cleanup event of the year. We have over 18 sites and we expect over 800 volunteers will be, wow. um, yeah, it's, it's huge. <laughs> we'll be picking up litter and pulling in base of weeds and cleaning up the river. Awesome. We're also going to be doing storm drain stenciling. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. and that's where it has the, the fish actually on there showing that, hey, this, this, whatever goes in here goes directly into the river. Yep. Only rain in the drain. Only rain in the drain. Mm -hmm. I like that. Very <laughs> cool. Now, since 2014, uh, Tumwa has been part of your Adopt a Spot program in which we actually organize our own uh, river cleanups. Mm -hmm. um, how can other businesses or individuals participate in this? We have a couple options. Um, the one that people mo know most is the neighborhood cleanup. Okay. And that's where a group of individuals or a, a Girl Scout troop, they call us and they want to clean up a specific area. And we go out and facilitate with tools and employees. Um, the other program we have that you participate in is the Adopt a Spot. And that's where a business or a community group can adopt a spot through the Washoe County Health District. They fund us. Okay. And we provide staff and tools and everything you need uh, you just commit to three cleanups a year excellent yeah. excellent very cool 
Um, where you guys have a lot of programs, um, where can people go to find more information about what you guys do? You can go to our website, which is ktmb.org, or you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, that's about all the time we have. I want to thank Janine Marie for coming out here and speaking with us today. Um, and I just want to applaud your guys' efforts, you know. As Tumwa being a good steward of the environment, we feel that your efforts are very noble and we really appreciate all that you do and we look forward to seeing good things from you guys in the future. Um, and for the folks at home, don't forget to go to tmwa.com conservation for tips on conserving water. Um, we have a video on how to winterize your irrigation system as well as a link to our interactive landscape guide. Um, don't forget to follow us on social and thanks for watching.